morning? Should we meditate together? Do you have some tea? Yesterday's meditation went longer than I meant it to. So today I'm going to try to keep it right at 10 minutes for you, just to make it a little easier to fit into your day. All right. If you have your cup of tea, go ahead and hold it. Take some deep breaths. And while you're taking your deep breaths, just feel the warmth of the teacup on your hands. Today it's rainy outside and it's cold and gray. And I'm extra grateful for the warmth of the cup on my fingers. I think that in our current society, we maybe don't appreciate enough very small things because we have so many wonders. We have so many amazing things. We have as many things as we have the money to buy. And the things that we don't have the money to buy, we still have amazing things to see. And so I think sometimes maybe we don't appreciate as much as we could the things that we have and the things that aren't even things, because we know there are so many fantastic things out there that we don't have. Right now, what I have is that my fingers feel so warm. All the way to the very tips, every part of my fingers feels warm. And that's actually so delightful, just deeply, actually, amazingly delightful. So we want to think about that. Can you smell your tea? What does it smell like today? You can take a deep breath and trace the smell in through your nose and all the way down deep into your lungs. The smell itself is part of the medicinal action of the herb. Isn't that amazing? The smell itself is part of the delight of the herb. I mean, maybe unless it's valerian. Even valerian has a delightful smell if you think about it. How is there a plant that smells like dirty socks? That's kind of amazing. Let's have a sip of that tea. Taste the tea on your tongue. When you swallow it, feel it all the way down into your belly. What you're doing right now is inviting another life into you. The plants that made your tea were alive and now they're part of you in some kind of like really positive, uplifting community version of the Borg, if you happen to be a Star Trek fan. As we move through life, the experiences that we have become a part of us and they change who we are. And as we move through life, the foods that we eat become a part of us and that changes who we are. And if you are a tea drinker, as you move through your day, the tea that you drink becomes a part of you and it changes who you are. It changes who you are on a molecular level. 
because now you have more vitamin C in your body or now you have more antioxidants in your body or now you have all the kinds of amazing things that herbs have. Now you have that in your body and it's available to you to your benefit. But also because tea is so delightful. Tea is calming and comforting. You can have another sip. And these plants become friends. There is even something, if you think on the least magical level possible, if you think about Pavlov, right? You know, the scientist who experimented with a bell to get the dogs to know when dinner was coming and then after some amount of time if he rang the bell and didn't give them any food still they would salivate that happens with herbs actually that over time your body expects the action that the herbs will have especially on your emotional health and when you start to smell that herb when you start to drink the tea the action begins already. It's like the herbs are teaching you relaxation, or they are teaching you to let go of a fear, or they are teaching you to take a breath before you react. So that eventually, when you have been in relationship with a certain plant for a long time, and you are in need, you actually can call on that plant without even having it. And you can remember what it taught you. You might think that sounds crazy, but I've absolutely done it in a subway, deep underground, when there were too many people and there were delays and we were stuck and there were no herbs. Maybe there were some in my backpack, but the car was too full to get to my backpack. And absolutely, you can stand there and say, I know how my body feels with chamomile. And I can call on chamomile now and begin that process of relaxation to feel calmer in this moment. So maybe as we meditate together about tea, we can be building this kind of a relationship so that in any moment that we feel a little bit panicked, we can call on our friends, either right here in the teacup or even just in our mind if we need to. We should have another sip. So, while you sit comfortably, move around if you need to, it's okay. While you sit and finish the rest of your tea, try to drink it slowly. Try not to be distracted by things around you. And if you are, that's fine. Let it pass. If you feel yourself becoming distracted, have another sip of tea. That will bring you right back to what you're doing. Oh yes, my tea. It tastes this way. It smells this way. I feel this way. Thank you so much for joining me today. Think about your gratitude for these plants as you finish your cup of tea. And I'll see you tomorrow.